And we're back with another and the final episode of the Fashu's Pokemon Leaf Green Wedlock Challenge. Now, it, yeah, you don't even get an ah oh, yeah, it's that intense. Because it's the final episode. We're going to take on Francis, a hated rival from the south. Always trying to one-up us. Always trying to rub his smug superior town names in my face. But I've assembled here a crack team of English town and city names, and we're going to teach him a lesson. Now, Ealing and Grimsby, you've done so well. I'm going to need your help again, though. <laughs> it's not over. Uh, I may as well use some more ethers and stuff. We're going to start off by doing that. Um, so we're actually going to use a max elixir for Grimsby because, I mean, there's no reason not to now. <laughs> this is the end of the game. There's no no more shots after this. And then we will use an ether on Ealing and Thunderbolt, of course. Now, if you remember last time, there were some sleep shenanigans going on. So Quick Law may be useful, but we're going to have to stick a Chesto Berry on you. And... Also on Ealing, I guess. Um, I mean, he does have fire. You know, I might as well keep that on. No, does he have any poison attacks? I don't think he does. You know, what? I'm going to keep the Rawsberry on you, Ealing. We can give berries to other people, just in case we have to use Pickering and Wells. Uh, who has a Quick Law? No one, I think. We can always stick to Click Court. Click Court? <laughs> you know what? Where was you getting this Quick Law? If the worst comes to the worst, we're going to use you guys. And then I guess I'll stick berries on everyone else. You can definitely have a Chesto Berry. Uh, and Drawsden. Let's give you whatever, man. <laughs> Doesn't really matter at this point. We'll give you a Raw's Berry as well. Alright. I hope you guys are ready because it's time. We're going to win this game. I'm very confident, but that's led me down a dark path before. Here's hoping. That this leads to success for Brittany. Hey Brittany! I was looking forward to seeing you, Brittany. My rival should be strong enough to keep me sharp. I still haven't really coined my French accent by this point, but whatever, no one actually cares. While working on my Pokédex, I looked all over for Pokémon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokémon type. Yep, still sounds pretty Russian. Maybe even Japanese. And now... I am the Pokemon League Champion, Brittany. Do you know what that means? I'll tell you. It means that France is the greatest country in the world. It's time. We will show that Britain is the place to be. Now, I don't really actually go into any strategy about this guy, but that's because he has such a varied team, there's no point. I only know that he started with Pidgeot, and Ealing, you know what to do. If you could take down a Dragonite, I'm sure you can take down this thing. Now, I suppose I could have, really, gone for a Dragon Dance setup. Well, it's a bit late for that now. Hopefully, Grimsby can do all the business here. That might be worth considering. We have Dragon Dance, we haven't even used it yet. But Grimsby, I'm hoping that Surf does the business. And I think Pidgeot has Feather Dance anyway, so even if I had increased stuff, I don't know if it would have made much difference. I didn't teach Surf to you! I'm a moron. Okay, Grimsby. I may have... overstepped my mark here. I should have taught Surf to Grimsby, and I didn't. What a moron. Oh, and it's not enough. It went for Scary Face and Miss, though. It's also a moron. Maybe now's the time to Dragon Dance. We're doing it. Ah, oh, I can't believe I didn't teach Surf. I think it only mattered for this Rhydon, though, so if we take the Rhydon down, we're fine. This might have worked out well. <laughs> oh, man, I was just so stoked to do this battle. I didn't even really think about that. Hopefully, this is all fine. <laughs> I mean, I was going to teach you Strength as well to deal with the Executor. So that might be a problem too. But you have Ice Beam, so we'll see how much that does. 
Going for Alakazam. That is fine. I can Earthquake you too. And we're faster. Excellent. Yes, that Dragon Dance. Oh man, this is such a good attack. This should be no problem. And it isn't. We're already halfway through his team. Next, here's the Executor. I'm kind of worried about this. Especially since I don't... Didn't use strength to you like I intended. It's even higher level than me. That's crazy. We're going to Ice Beam and see how much it does. Now, I've got to remember that he used the healing item. Okay, that did like a third damage. It's gone for Sleep Powder and Mist. I am... This is ridiculous. <laughs> the luck I'm getting in this game has been so fantastic. And we froze it! Oh my goodness, what is going on? <laughs> this game gave pity to me. Oh my goodness, okay, well... Should we Dragon Dance again? We're gonna do it. <laughs> now, this could have been a mistake. I'm well aware of that. I wonder if Earthquake would even do more damage at this point. We'll give it a go. Even if it does Sleep Powder, I am able to wake up with the Chesto Berry. How much will this do? It did about the same. And it missed again! Oh my goodness! Grimsby! What is going on? This Execute slash Executor has not enjoyed your company. So I have two healing items now. Ooh, very clever. I don't think it'll matter though. You know what? I can definitely do a Nug of Dragon... Oh man, it went for another healing item. You use three full restores. I mean, I guess I have to be careful because I actually... Don't... Um, there's no way for me to recover your power points, Grimsby. And you don't have many Earthquakes left, but we're going to do it anyway. Hopefully it's just half now. We'll find out, though. Oh, it does. Okay, good. What for Egg Bomb? It just gave up on trying to put me to sleep. <laughs> what the heck? That did loads. What is this? That's interesting. I mean, you do have three... I do have three healing items, so I'm pretty good. And a crit. Oh, Grimsby. This executor just did not have a good day. <laughs> oh, great stuff. Oh, that was fantastic. Okay. You've gone for Arcanine. Now, Arcanine is actually going to decrease my attack. But you're the best thing for this f anyway, Grimsby. We're going to Earthquake. Okay, what for Extreme Speed? Interesting. Let's see how much this does. Come on, Grimsby. Okay, you handle that like a pro. Now, how much will this do? It's enough! Yes! Alright, there's only one thing standing in the way of me winning this game. And it's the first Pokémon that we faced. Now, it's Ealing's turn. I'm confident you can do it, Ealing. You've got Thunderbolt this time. And the light screen wore off at the perfect timing. Let's do this thing. I mean, if Lapras survived, let's be real. So can Blastoise. We did it! Ealing! With the final blow. Take that, France. <laughs> no, this can't be! You beat me at my best! After all that work to become the league champ, my reign is over already. It's, it's not fair. Why? Why? Why do I always lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokémon. I even cheated and evolved some of them early. Darn it, you're the new Pokémon League champion, although I don't like to admit it. Brittany! I forgot Oak's voice. We'll do this now, I guess. <laughs> So you've won. Sincerely, a congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Chester to work on the Pokedex. Brittany, you have come of age. Francis, I'm disappointed in you. I came when I heard you'd beaten Delete 4, but when I got here, you had already lost as usual. Francis, do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokémon with love and trust. Also, you speak a dead, archaic language. Without them, you will never become a champ again. Brittany, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokémon is marvellous. Brittany, come with me. Take that, France. <laughs> Cue downvotes from all... Downvotes? Dislikes? Whatever it is on YouTube. Ahem. Congratulations, Brittany. This floor is the Pokémon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honoured for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Brittany, you have worked hard to become the new League champion. 
Congratulations, Brittany. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. It's so beautiful. We did it. We didn't lose a single Pokemon in Elite Four. Oh man, everything pretty much went to plan. Even the things I forgot. <laughs> Let's commemorate our heroes. Ealing, the Jolteon. Grimsby, the Gyarados. Droilsden, the Hypno. Spennymore, the Fearow. Wells, the Beedrill. And Pickering, the Pidgeot. They didn't really do anything here, but they made it this whole journey. Oh man. I'm so stoked. We did it, guys. Let us never forget Ramsgate, Chester, Wigan, and Gosport for their part in this adventure as well. We will never forget. 48 hours. <laughs> I wonder how much of that is grinding. We did it. Britain is the best country. Way better than France. It is proven. Yeah, you better run. Oh, hello there. Let's go home. I mean, you're gonna have to run through Victory Road if you're doing that. <laughs> we did it. Thank you guys ever so much for joining me in this series. And the original reason I did this, and this is also the first wedlock I've beaten on, in fact, ever, actually. I've only actually attempted one wedlock challenge, believe it or not, before this one. Uh, it's, it's still unfinished. Let's not comment on that one, but we did this, and I'm very happy. I'm, I really like Wedlock Challenges. I feel like it offers you a lot of variety, more than a Nuzlocke Challenge in terms of what you use. Like, you don't have to stick to, in fact, well, I mean, you have to stick to a specific set, but you don't have to make choices solely based on stuff. You have to essentially work with what you have. I really like that component, and I know that it's probably the case earlier on when I didn't have many deaths at all. They may have been sick of seeing the same team over and over, but for me personally, it's all about the bonds that you make. Like, the fact that Pickering and Wells made this whole playthrough is great. It just goes to show that, you know, the favourites don't always... They aren't always the most strongest Pokémon of all. Sometimes they're just the ones you've known longest and you've been through the most with, you know? That's what I like about these. As for how this challenge was, I feel like it's pretty good. I mean, I need one item in battle up until the Elite Four. In fact, the whole reason I introduced that item limit was basically for the Elite Four. Otherwise it would have been using no items, but I've never really done a no item challenge before. And I've never done a, a wedlock on this before, so I mean, I may as well start slow. And I can always build up to being more difficult, but the whole reason I did that was because when I went through Platinum, that was a lot of fun too. But I felt like Platinum was a case where, because I could use as many healing items as I wanted, I kind of cheese stuff, and I don't really like that component of it, so I wanted to find a way of not cheesing the game, and I think this is a really good way of doing it. Because, you can see, if you're prepared, you can get through most fights without really any problems at all. Well, even if there are problems, it's still doable. It's not, like, too difficult, especially with this game. Fire Red and Leaf Green are supposed to be some of the easier games to Nuzlocke, or just in general. The movesets aren't fantastic in comparison with other games later down the line. I'd say if you're ever looking to start a Nuzlocke or Wedlock, maybe these are really good games to pick up. I mean, they're quite familiar as well, just because I've played through Kanto like five billion times, so that helps too. So yeah, I had a fantastic time doing this series. I'm hoping that the next series is not too far in the future. I already know what I'm going to play. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, and I'm also thinking of doing another series in the meantime. I mean, it won't be too long, maybe for like a few weeks. Uh, I've got to edit all this stuff. Get it all uploaded and all that stuff. This is going to be good. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. Uh, let me know what your favourite parts were, what your least favourite parts were. Uh, and what do you like to see for future wedlocks? I'm, I'm planning, my next challenge is probably going to be a wedlock as well, but I'm going to do a little bit of different rules. It's not going to be a, such a limited item, limit as it were, <laughs> but I have plans. I've got fantastical, whimsical plans. <laughs> I don't know how well it will work. It's something I've not actually seen anyone else do, or at least... It's, it's stuff that, it's a wedlock challenge, but the rules are just a little bit different. It's almost a, a tester to see how well it goes. Anyway, thank you Royal New Zealand Foundation of the Blind for your braille. <laughs> we didn't even see any of that in this game. But we did it. I'm so stoked. I really need a drink because I've been recording for the longest time, but we did it.
Now, question is, what game do I play next? There's so many, so many choices, you know? It's quite a lot to pick from. It's quite a varied selection. It's not such a black and white decision. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Toodles.